Hey everybody! Um, I just recently did this video with another microphone and it conked out on me, so I decided to just do it this way. I'm going to show you some Fisker's Texture Plates that I recently got. Um, I actually got these on sale at Target and also Joanne Fabric Store. Um, they have six different plates in one box and basically the each plate has a texture on the front and the back so all together in one box you're getting 12 different textures which is really really awesome compared to um, the fact that you only get one texture in the large cuddle bug embossing folders um, the pricing of the Fiskars texture plates it ranges um, depending on where you buy them and you can get them probably about fourteen to fifteen dollars is around the regular price for them but when you do the math and you know even if you do play regular price for them um, you know fourteen or fifteen dollars divided by twelve different textures is just absolutely amazing you're paying like a little over what a dollar per um, texture, whereas with Cuddlebug, with the large embossing folders, you're paying anywhere from four ninety nine to six ninety nine per folder, which means that, you know, I mean, it's like three times as much as what you would be paying if you, you know, if these textures are textures that you want, you know, the Fiskars ones. Um, I'm just recently, you know, starting to venture out and use other other brands of embossing methods methods and things like that um <laughs> and so i you know i bought these fiskers ones and i really didn't never plan on using them in my cuddle bug because um i didn't want to risk messing anything up but um you know i've just seen so many demos of using different die cuts and embossing methods in other machines and you know just versatility and flexibility of the different dies and so I thought I would try it myself and this is one that I didn't see anywhere online so I thought I would you know let you guys know how I did it um, one other thing that I was really really excited about was that just recently just going back to the cuddle bug thing um, the cuddle bug embossing folders that is um, I went on eBay and I was so close to buying the new polka dot um, embossing folder for my cuddle bug and I don't know what stopped me I think I might have gotten distracted and I went and did something else and never came back to it and before coming back to it in the meantime I obviously got sidetracked <laughs> and decided to you know try out this whole Fiskars texture plate thing <laughs> in my cuddle bug and lo and behold, I didn't even realize it, I had a polka dot um, embossing plate, texture plate, um, in one of my Fiskars boxes. So I was so excited about that because I didn't have to, I, you know, it, it saved me money. And, uh, you know, who doesn't want to save money <laughs> on these kind of things? Lord knows how much of money I've already spent on all this scrapbooking <laughs> stuff. And if you are a scrapbooker, then you know exactly what I mean. Um, oh, this particular texture, by the way, the border that I did there, um, I actually did that with the Fiskars Border Punch, and it, it punches and embosses at the same time. And um, that texture on the cardstock is the same texture as what was on that um, um, texture plate, by the way. And I just took my Tim Holtz Distress Inks, and I went right over... Um, the top of that texture and it just really made it pop so um, it, it made a really pretty design it didn't look pretty when it was on the texture plate but once I got it embossed and inked it was really nice I thought <laughs> um, and so anyway um, what I was saying earlier in regards to my uh, the polka dots I was just really excited about that because I didn't have to spend the money on that <laughs> like I thought I was going to <laughs> So anyway, um, 
One thing you'll want to keep in mind is in this video, whenever I do get to the point where I show you how to do your Cuddlebug sandwich, um, and if you know, <laughs> if you own a Cuddlebug, then you know what a sandwich is. <laughs> it's not a turkey sandwich, <laughs> for those of you who don't know what Cuddlebugs are. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, um, I, I'm going to show you how to do that, and... One of the things I'm going to use is my um, tan cell binders embossing mat. So if you don't have those, one thing that you could use in place of that is, um, and this is going to sound really odd, but um, I was at Home Depot uh, yesterday and um, they have in the garden section, they have pond liner. And it is basically like what you, it's like the texture of a rubber inner tube is really what it, what it is. <laughs> and um, something like that would probably work. Um, it's really cheap in the, like whenever you like really look at how much you're getting for, you know, if you even just got like a, a foot of it, you would have so much more than enough. But um, I got my tan embossing mat on eBay they're spellbinders, um, embossing mats, or texture mats, they're called sometimes. And I think I got mine for like $8, and they came two to a pack. Um, there's my polka dots. <laughs> so excited about that. <laughs> but um, anyway, they came two to a pack, and uh, they were, uh, I think, maybe like a dollar, dollar fifty for shipping. So. And those are not something that are going to wear down. They're latex rubber is really all it is. So if you if you can find some latex rubber lying around, like, I don't know, kitchen gloves, <laughs> those are rubber. <laughs> Try it. Hey, you never know what might work. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, that's basically what it is. Okay, so here's the sandwich. You're going to use your A cuddle bug plate. And then you're going to put your tan embossing mat by Spellbinders or your rubber kitchen glove <laughs> or your pawn liner, whichever one you want to use, <laughs> or go cut up an inner tube and put it in there. Uh, your cardstock, and you want that to be face down. Whatever, whatever side you want to pop out of, you want that to be facing down. Then you're going to put your Fiskars texture plate. And the cool thing about these Fiskars texture plates is that they line up perfectly with the Cuddlebug um, plates, which is so odd. You would think that they actually did that on purpose. I mean, they've even got the rounded corners and everything. They just, it looks like they were meant to go together. <laughs> um, and so, anyway, you got your Fiskars texture plate and then your next tan embossing mat by the Spellbinder. And the next one you're going to put is your B plate. Your Cuddlebug B plate. And that's it. Now, depending on the size of the cardstock that you are using, um, you may want to put down a, a B plate first before you put your very first tan embossing mat. And the reason for that is I used a pretty heavyweight cardstock, and so I didn't need that second um, B plate. And so, um, you know, you, you'll just want to kind of play around with it and see what you think and, and everything. These are my two tan embossing mats that I got on eBay, like I was saying before. And, um, you know, it's it really is worth it. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna last you like forever, <laughs> probably, um, because I don't think uh, I don't think latex breaks down very quickly or easily. <laughs> so um, you're gonna get some really good use out of them. And not only that, but if you're interested in getting the spell binders, any of the spell binders die cuts, and you know that they cut and emboss. Um, you know, you're going to need these anyway. So, um, here I'm just showing you how these fit perfectly on the cuddle bug plate. You know, these are the 4 by 6 size. And that's one thing you'll want to keep in mind also on eBay. They have um, 
12 by 6 and they have 4 by 6. And um, the 12 by 6 side is going to be really, really long off of your cuddle bug mat. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Um, but the good thing about the longer ones and the wider ones is that they, um, you know, they're going to cover a, a wider range of space and everything. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I apologize for not being able to narrate it myself. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.